Hey, welcome to another video. This is about sticker shock again. Sticker shock update 2021 spring. Um, I've just had uh, two truckloads of plywood and lumber delivered, and I have a third one coming. And the idea is is again to try to guarantee my price. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to go up, but that's already reflected in the uh, price on the website. All of this was left over at the lump at three different lumber yards um, through the winter, so prices continued escalating through the winter. Uh, but they had their old stock, so so I bought that, um, and so now they'll they'll start with fresh pricing on what they get in. Um, what prompted me to do this was about two days ago, uh, plywood started going, continued to go up. It was jumping uh, three or four, five dollars a sheet. So I bought some plywood. Uh, the plywood was about twenty dollars a sheet cheaper for 5.8 CDX than you can get it at, at Lowe's or Home Depot now the big box stores. Um, the OSB was around $12 a sheet less, and the T111 was about $10 a sheet less. So um, we have this strapping. That was about $7 per 1x4 16. That's a still a really good price. Um, that's probably, probably a dollar or two cheaper than what it's going for now. So all in all, I think that's good. So I bought enough uh, material to take its march now. This will take us through into probably July or so, somewhere in there, uh, for the bulk of what we need to purchase. Some of the other things like metal roofing, uh, siding, we'll, we're still going to have to buy as we go. Uh, but we should be in pretty good shape. Um, again, just to, trying to keep these prices down for people. Uh, so that's where we're at. We uh, we got a couple bundles of T111. The first two jobs are going to be T111 with battens. So I also picked up, can't see it from here. Let's see, let's go take a look at that. Picked up that unit of one by four strapping. We'll rip that down. We'll rip that down for battens to nail over the grooves of the T111. That works works really well. Uh, gives it that rustic kind of barn board effect. As I said, outside we have have all that lumber out there, and all of this in here. I've got to got, have to stack it all. Somehow we have to organize this a little more. I've got a little bit more room uh, up front, but um, we're still waiting on one more truckload to come. Somehow I need to get it in here so it's out of the weather and um, less likely to be stolen, <laughs> if that's the case. One, other, one thing we have here is this pallet jack. This is, I've had this for a few years works really great it'll pick up six thousand pounds it's a super heavy duty hand pushed pallet jack works really well for moving these around when the, especially when there's room in here so again this will carry us through probably into july or so is the goal um, we're we're hoping by then the prices will stabilize and of course i've been hoping that for a year now almost well, uh, nine months anyway we've been hoping it would stabilize but it's just been going up and up so anyway I think we got it so that 
um, for me. Um, I've stabilized my sticker shock so that uh, it'll be good for my customers into July. Hopefully by then things will stabilize and start going back down. And by the time they go down, they may come back down to where I bought all of these at, at the price for this stuff. So thank you for watching. And I have just a, a, an eight minute video coming right along now of uh, a start to finish garage um, that we did, uh, I think about a year, year and a half ago where I condensed it so that you could see it from start to finish. So thanks. Hang on. And here we are driving up to a, uh, what's going to be a 24 by 24 two car garage. It's going to be a, just a, a beautiful garage. It's way out in the countryside. Um, so it's really out in the woods. It's really going to be very quiet. Um, this particular garage, 24 by 24 with texture 111, will be around $21,500 this year in 2021. You can see here we're putting down the rebar and tying that off in two foot squares, so to speak. Uh, we'll pour a six inch thick concrete slab, 3000 PSI concrete. So here's a truck. We're ready to pour. So the concrete truck is here, uh, backing in about usually about 12 yards or so, somewhere in that range. Uh, this particular one was a rear discharge, which means it takes one person to run the chute. It's nice to have a front because they do all the work. Most of it, they'll, they'll place it really nicely. Uh, this one, you have to be, you have to work it back and forth, pushing that chute and uh, try to get it as close as possible. So here we've got the walls going up, two by four, eight foot ceiling. Um, the studs are 16 inches on center. So I have a little explanation that the uh, plastic that's hanging over the edge, I put that on so this is going to have texture 111 siding, sheathing, and we're going to spray it. So we didn't want to get any on the concrete. So we'll cut that off after. The headers are, uh, over all the door and window openings are two by 10, doubled with a layer of uh, plywood in between to fill that and strengthen it. This particular one had a door on the front and one on the back so that they, they can bring their toys straight in and straight out. And then they have a workshop on, on the, the left side of the garage, basically. You can see the T111 going on here. That works well. Have one person on top tacking it off, the other one setting it, putting it in place. And just go one sheet after another. I think it's around 26 sheets of 5.8's T111 that this takes. And trusses. The trusses are, they go pretty easy. These, in a, in a 24 foot truss, they're easy to handle. So they're maybe 110, 120 pounds. Not bad at all. So two people can lug it in, one stays up on top. And you're out. The other one tips, tips the um, trusses up. This is a little rig that I made for marking out plywood. It's all set for two foot spacing. And also one for a five foot, three foot uh, line so we can just lay it on the sheet of plywood mark the lines and away we go it really saves a lot of time doing that so here you can see we've got the plywood on the roof we're getting ready to close in the ends now uh, this was day one of the whole project getting a what you see here was the first day that we showed up after the concrete was poured. So now we're cleaning up and getting ready for the next day.
So here's T111 we're putting on the gable ends, piece at a time. We use an airless sprayer for here, uh, going all the way around. That, that sprays the building pretty quickly. We'll spray it all, um, roll it out, and then we'll come back and spray it another coat all the way around. It goes really, really smoothly. And it, with a sprayer, you get into the, the grooves of the tongue and groove pine, uh, T111, I'm sorry. Love that ladder hoist. Boy, that's slick. Saves so much work going up and down ladders, bringing shingles up. Um, I love shingling, by the way. Uh, it's just kind of fun. I used to say it was mindless work. I mean, you really have to think. But it, it's, uh, it's fun because it's uh, just a repetitive thing, and I'm kind of into that. Finished. The, uh, the snow came before we got, got done, um, but we made it. Oh, it's like move that bus. Oh, hey. Um, I'm going with you guys. <laughs> I bet they'll wait. So here we are. 24 by 24. Two car. Ranch. Went with no windows. Because uh, this is way out in the woods. Do a little walk through here. We'll go inside. It is dark. These doors go up really well. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the videos. Hit that like button and feel free to make a comment. Be sure to kiss your dog, hug your cat, go mow the field, mow the grass. Stay off the roads and be safe.